All right, guys, this is the last experiment of the week. I am going to do an easy experiment with stuff you most likely already have at your house. So we're doing this easy experiment so you can, you can observe an actual chemical reaction occurring. So I put a pan, you can also use a plate, and I put it over top of my sink because I'm waiting for the Clorox, to, the, the bleach to clean out my sink after the eggs. You're going to take whole milk, because you got to use whole milk though, guys, because if you use the, like, the skim milk, it's not going to work as well. So you want to use the whole milk. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pour a thin layer of whole milk on your tray. All right, I'm only going to do this one time. All right, so there's my thin layer of whole milk on my tray. The reason why I'm using this big tray is so I only have to do this experiment once. <laughs> so, all right, now what we're trying to test is I want you, you to see what soap actually does because soap reacts to things that's the reason why we use it to when we wash our hands okay so that's first so what you're going to do is you're going to put your thin layer of milk on either a plate or a pan or something then you're going to take some dish detergent and some q-tips and then you're going to soak your q-tips in your dish detergent for a second and then you're going to leave that on the tray just for a second the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your food coloring. Ooh, food coloring. We used that a couple weeks ago. Now, with your food coloring, you are going to put it into the milk. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a red one here. And maybe another one over there. Maybe a little bit over here. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some yellow. Put a little bit of yellow. A little yellow. Yep. Yep. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some blue, 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 blue. Now, do you notice that it's not doing anything? Okay. The chemical, the actual chemicals or the uh, atoms in the food coloring are not reacting to the milk. It literally is just, they're just chilling out together. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of green around just for some giggles. Okay. So there we go. All right, now, now the actual reaction is going to happen. What is, what's gonna occur is that on in soap, so here's some soap right here. The soap, oh, I don't want it to drop in there. Okay, so the soap, you're going to touch the soap to the milk. Now the reason why you're gonna see a reaction is because the soap seeks out fat molecules. We're talking like proteins and fats and lipids. And that's what we're going to watch as the soap chases after the fats and lipids uh, and proteins inside the milk. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to put my first one right here. Okay, so I'm going to put it right down here. Oh, yeah. Do you see how the soap is chasing that around? Chasing it around. It's reacting over here. It's reacting over there. So let's try some more. You ready? I'm going to put it there and see how the soap is chasing the fats around. It's not actually chasing or it's not actually interacting with the food coloring. The food coloring is just there to show you that the soap is working. I'm going to do a little bit closer so you guys can see it. I'm going to do maybe this one. See as it moves around. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that crazy? Do another one. That is what's happening on your hands when you are, um, let's do another one. So I'm gonna put this one down since I got some food coloring and stuff on it. So that's what's happening on your hands when you're washing them. The soap is chasing out all of the different proteins on your hands and they're, they're capturing them so, you can, so it can be rinsed off with water. So I'm gonna take one more. And as you can see, it's practically a, uh, an art project more than anything else. And as you can see, the actual milk. Ooh, that one is good. Look at that. That's so cool. And that, uh, and that soap is moving, moving around and searching and chasing. You can still see that one still reacting. Do you see that? That soap that I touched right there is still reacting to the proteins and the fats inside the milk. 
reacting, 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 reacting. Now, eventually what's going to happen is, is that the, the soap is going to search out and capture the vast majority of fats and then your milk will stop reacting. You see how it's, it's like a little bit less, a little bit less all the time. That means that it's pretty much out of fat globules. See, this one here has still got some stuff in it. The more milk you use and the bigger the tray, the more likely it is that there will be a reaction. Do you see? That is your last experiment of the week, guys. I want you to actually observe the chemical reactions and how you might not see the molecules moving around because a lot of the times, like when it comes to like the, the naked egg and when it comes to other experiments, you may not see it, but that does not mean that there's not movement and there's not something happening. That is how, let's see, let's see this one up here. Oh yeah. Ah. All right, let's try one more because you can tell this one is pretty much set up there. One more last one and then we're gonna call it a day. And you guys are, it's, it's up to you to do these. Oh look, it's still reacting. Even when we're not watching, it's still reacting. Oh yeah. And it's fun, look at that. All right, I'd like you to do this reaction as well. I'm not gonna make you do the uh, chemical like formulas, but this is a chemical reaction in action. Isn't that amazing? All right, guys, listen, that was fun. This is the fun one of the week. That's because it's getting near the end of the year. And I want to make sure that you guys have a good rest of the week. And I will do it. I might do it one more time just for my own enjoyment because I still have some milk left and I'm definitely not drinking it because I do not want a stomach ache. So, wow, that one is just going. Look at that. Okay, you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoy this experiment. Please bring your family involved in this one. All right, it might be fun for your little brothers and sisters or maybe even your parents. All right, enjoy your chemical reactions and do the rest of your work. Have a good one. This is Cheers. Stay safe, stay healthy.